just arrived on uh, Copacabana Beach. Inshallah, calling people to Islam, telling people about Islam. My Dawah tip of the day is check your intention. You have to make sure that you're sincere when giving Dawah. Make sure you understand that only Allah can guide, it's only Him who can guide and you're just a means. So you're just trying to be the means of someone's guidance. Make lots of Dawah and ask Allah to see Shahadas. My advice to anyone involved in Dawah is always keep in mind that you need to be patient. You might not speak to anyone the whole day. You, no one might even take your flyers. You just have to be patient like the Prophets were patient. What you have to say is how do you, in terms of son, what do you mean? Because David is described as the son of God in the Bible. Moses is described as the son of God. Ephraim is described as the son of God. Israel is described as the son of God. What do you mean by son of God? The Jews, the begotten son. The Jews, the Jews. Yeah, but how can you in, in Psalm 2, 7, David is the begotten son of God. You can't have two only begotten sons of God. In the Bible, David is described as the begotten son of God in Psalm 2, 7. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. So how can Jesus be the only begotten son? The Bible says he is the son. He sent his only son. How, how can to he die be? For our how sins? can he be only begotten son when David's also a begotten son? People have tried to sell Christianity to you, and this is now what you're preaching, but you don't understand what you're preaching. <laughs> Abraham never believed in the Trinity, did he? Do you believe in the Trinity? Trinity? What's that? Yeah, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Yeah. Abraham never believed that. You know that, yeah. Okay. Isaac never believed that, Noah never believed that. What we as Muslims say is that you worship God alone. You don't worship anyone besides God. You know, we believe in Jesus. We both believe in the same God. We both believe in the God of Abraham. Mm -hmm. right? So Fernando, you yourself used to be Catholic, but then you left belief in God? Yes. What's the reason for that? Kill people because they do something that was wrong. So all of that things did it make sense? Me, to yeah. What do you think the goal of life is? Why do you think we exist? Because I want to be happy. Happy? Yeah. That's the goal. Enjoy the, the all the people from different countries. I'm talking to you right now, so that is to be happy. Okay. It's not. It's not money. It's not about that. It's just belief in God. If I was to give you an example like I previously did, say that building over there. Do you think that building can come together by chance? Or do you think that building has to have an engineer, a designer? Of course, it, it should have a designer. Yeah. So our brains and our eyes, which are more complex than cameras and all of the things around us, including the universe, is more complicated than the building. Yes. So just like the building has a designer, don't you think that the world also has a designer? Yes, I believe that. But what we believe as Muslims, the goal of life is to worship the Creator. And we don't believe, just to let you know, we don't believe the Creator is a human being. We don't believe, because many people, when they're taught that's the Creator, they become irreligious because it doesn't make sense to them. Yes. Now, that, we don't believe that is God. We don't believe that is God or no, the Son of God. Don't. You neither believe that. No? So we don't no. believe it's God. No, no, we don't believe it's the Son of God. It's just a representation, that's all it is. That's not God. No, we don't believe it's the Son of God either. We just believe it's a human being. No, this is just a representation of Jesus. No, what we say is Jesus is human. We don't believe yeah, Jesus was a human. He was yeah. human. According to the Bible. Yeah. So we don't believe he's God. We don't believe he's the Son of God, we believe he's human. Yeah, he was a human. Yeah. yeah. So that we agree, we agree then. Yeah, yeah. Agree. Okay. My name's Paul, mate. Oh. <laughs> you wanna shake my hand? No. God bless you. <laughs> and you too, amigo. We came across this guy at a cafe. Um, he's learning a bit of Egyptian Arabic. Uh, he knows a lot of Islamic history. He knows a lot about Islam. And he just started asking us questions. He actually wanted a copy of the Quran. So uh, John's just having a really good conversation with him back there. You know, may Allah guide him. He seems like someone who's really sincere and someone who's really searching. So we don't know in the future if he's going to accept Islam. Because you guys, you take, oh, I'm not going to say that. Man, you guys take care about your kids. And this is one thing that the Christianity is not caring about. We are not um, taking care of our kids. Like, you guys, you preach to your kids and you 
you care you you take care of them so make sure that they're gonna believe the same thing that you guys believe and and us like 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 speaking as a Christian I think that we our problem is that we don't take care of a lot about our, our kids you guys I mean when I say you guys like you Muslim, Muslim I think that in maybe 30 years Europe is gonna be must Muslim because no, no. <laughs>